Hello everyone, my name is Hua Qi. I'm excited to introduce this work that we are presenting in middle 2021, titled Learning Deformorphic and Modality Invariant Registration Using B-Splines. This is a collaborative work with my colleagues from the Biomedia Group in Imperial College London, University of Edinburgh, and the Lab for AI in Medicine in TU Munich. Let's start with a bit of a background. This is an illustration of one of the most recently established framework for image re registration using deep learning. At each inference, a pair of moving and fixed images are fed as input into a network, which predicts a transformation to register the two images. The parameters of the network are typically trained um, to minimize the dissimilarity loss and the regularization loss over a training dataset using stochastic gradient optimization. This can be viewed as learning an amortized optimization since the same network is trained to predict the optimal transformation for many pairs of images. In our paper, we focus on providing alternatives for two important components of this framework, the transformation and the intensity-based similarity loss used to train the networks. First, the transformation. In this paper, we propose to use a parameter-efficient parameterization of a deformorphic transformation in deep learning registration. Specifically, a fully convolutional neural network is used to predict the velocities of the B-spline freeform deformation, or FFD, control points which can then be used to, to, to compute the velocities of each point in the image space using the tensor product with the qubit B spline basis functions. The final displacement of this uh, field is computed using the scaling and squaring algorithm from the dense velocity field. One important detail is that our network is spatially configured to parameterize the FFD control points according to the size of the image space and the choice of control point spacing. Another important component for image registration is the intensity-based similarity metric used to guide the optimization. Mutual information is such a metric that is robustly applicable to a wide range of image modalities, especially when the intensity relationship between the images is nonlinear, which is pretty common in multimodal registration. In order to train a deep learning registration network, however, the mutual information estimation needs to be differentiable to allow backpropagation. For this, we use a classic parser window estimation method, which essentially uses kernel density estimation for the intensity distributions needed to compute in mutual information. As an illustration, the intensities are taken from a pair of points at the same location on both the fixed and moving image. A typical histogram estimation will use a binning process, which is equivalent to adding a rectangular window to the histogram for this sample. This makes the estimation non-differentiable. Instead of this, we can use a smooth differentiable density kernel to smooth out the contribution of the sample to the histogram. Doing this for um, all pairs of points in the overlapping space using separable 1D kernels, we can get a joint distribution of the intensity, which we then marginalize to compute the marginal distributions. We can then use these distributions to compute mutual information. To improve memory efficiency, in our experiment, we only compute mutual information over a random subsample of points in the image space for each training iteration. This is actually quite, quite useful for 3D registration. For experiments, we evaluate our framework firstly on the intersubject registration of 3D brain MR images, both T1, T1, and T1, T2. We also evaluated on intersubject re registration of 2D cardiac MR images between the end diastolic frame and the end systolic frame. Compared to our baselines, we firstly find that our method is a little less accurate, but significantly faster compared to traditional pairwise iterative algorithms using the same um, transformation as we do. Secondly, compared to deep learning baseline, which uses a dense network, for example, a UNED, we found that our method achieves comparable accuracy and transformation, uh, transformation regularity, but it's much faster and uses less parameters. We also found that mutual information performed comparable to, um, to localized normalized cross-correlation um, across our experiments. However, from literature, we know that mutual information is more robust to a wider range of modalities than LNCC, and we will work on testing that in our future works. On the right here, you can see some examples of the registered T1, T2 images using different methods. We refer the audience to the paper for more quantitative and qualitative results. 
We also want to note that the code for Beast Run SVF and the differentiable mutual information modules are available online and quite straightforward to plug in and use, as some of our collaborators already tested. Thank you very much for your attention, and we hope to see you in the live discussions in Gabaton.